If you want to know exactly where your food comes from and meet the person who made it, you need to stop by the Ken Island Farmer's Market at the Christ Church on Route 8 on Thursdays from 3.30 to 6.30. Everything I've had here is delicious and it's the most, it's best value for your food dollar. We talked to some of the vendors about what they bring to the market. We started off with the wine. We make the wine. They're, they're our, we, we do everything from uh, propagate the plants to um, making the wine and then marketing the wine. So can you tell us about what you guys have going on here? Yes, this is um, the Christ Church Soup Group. This is a ministry of the church. It started as soon as we started hosting the Ken Island Farmer's Market. And so we started with one pot of soup, and we're now up to four different soups, three different soups and salads every week. We have marinated vegetables and pre-orders, and all of this has just grown exponentially. And all of the proceeds do go back to the church and it is just a hugely successful venture. We tried some granola. Yes, my name is Pamela Henderson. I'm the owner of Pamela's Heavenly Treats Granola in Centerville, Maryland. I bake in Denton. That's where my kitchen is at. We just provide a healthy but flavorful um, treat. And checked out the dog treats. So can you tell us about your company and what you bring here to the Canal Farmers Market? Yes, I'm Lisa and I sell organic grain-free dog treats. Um, our dog had grain allergies and that's how come we started the business. And I also make beach crafts when I take my dog to the beach and while he's swimming back with the sticks, I'm always searching in the sand for some treasures. So. And of course the market has fresh fruits and vegetables. We grow a wide range of produce, um, a little bit of fruit like melons, but uh, we also have some eggs and some beehives, so we'll have some honey throughout the season as well. We have all of our fruits. Uh, we'll get into peach season soon, and then uh, all the melons are in, the cantaloupe, watermelon, sugar babies, uh, white and bicolor sweet corn, and all of this other lovely vegetables that you see. We finished up at the Sacred Kitchen, which serves Indian food. We cook vegan Indian food, and we cover recipes that are not usually covered in the Indian restaurants. The focus for, for us is really on fresh ingredients. Everything's fresh, nothing's frozen. We do everything local. We use organic when we can. Um, we make amazing uh, nectars that are fruit-infused teas with lots of uh, fresh herbs and flowers and juices and fruits. So everything is, is focused on what nature's bounty is. And we don't have to use animal products in order to make something delicious. I come every week because it has the best food around. It has the most sustainable and healthy food around. And we really need to get everybody out here and make these guys more successful. These farmers are coming in just for us. And we need to show them that Ken Island is really interested in good, sustainable, healthy food. You can find more information about the Ken Island Farmer's Market on their Facebook page. I'm Mallory Drummond, and thanks for watching.